Hello everyone and welcome once again to the same workshop. My name is Stella Olasukome and today I want to show you guys how to take a suit measurement. However, this video is going to be the second video in my intensive class which will be the professional class on how to cut a suit and how to cut a waistcoat and all those corporate outfits. So today I will show you guys how to take a suit measurement. So in this tutorial, make sure you write something down because it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. I will show you guys how to like follow the next measurement you're supposed to take one after the other. So make sure you write something down. Make sure you pay closer attention. The cutting and sewing of this, um, of this measurement taken will be part of my intensive class. So make sure you try out my intensive class on how to cut a suit or you can visit my website on www.sewingworkshop.com.ng or you can also download my um, Android app via the um, Google Play Store on how to cut and you can join my intensive class via that. So we're going to take the, uh, I'm going to show you guys the measurements, how to take the suit measurements right now. So let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to the sewing workshop. Today, I want to show you guys how to take a suit measurement or some people call it blazer but there's a difference between a suit and a blazer. First and foremost, the difference between a suit and a blazer is when you are wearing a jacket, a suit jacket without a trouser, that's when it is called a blazer. However, the difference between a suit and a blazer is that sometimes the shoulder of a blazer is a little bit loose than the fitting of a corporate suit. And when you're wearing a suit jacket with the same fabric trouser, that is when it's a corporate suit. So there's a difference between a suit and a blazer. So today I want to show you guys how to take a suit measurement because I will show you guys also how to like cut it and during my professional class right here on this um, on this app. So I will show you guys how to take the measurements right now. So before we start, I would like to show you the procedures. These measurements you are supposed to take one after the other. So this is it right here. Can you see? Let me just focus that right there. The very first measurement you'll be taking will be the shoulder measurement. Then we'll come to the chest measurement. We we'll go to the stomach measurement and the hip measurement. Then we'll take the half back length, half back measurement. Sorry, that will be just the half back measurement and the length measurement itself and we'll go with the arm bicep which will be the like the round of the arm itself and the back length we we'll take the back length this is the front length this is the front length and this will be the back length and we'll take the sleeve length then we we'll take the arm curve that will be the um the round of this part of place so let's go straight into that right now so when would you want to like start the measurements make sure you have uh, a client that is friendly that, that can like help you to like turn around you understand like you can't stress in the lot <laughs> so the very first thing you are going to be taking the very first measurement you'll be taking will be the shoulder measurement so sorry, so from here make sure your client is wearing a cut, like a fitted outfit so that you have like the perfect place you're going to take the measurement. So from here, which is the shoulder of this particular shirt that is wearing, which is the shoulder, you're going to take your measurement. Right on this one, we have 17.5 inch, which will be the shoulder measurement. So I'm going to write that down. 17.5. Right here, I'm going to take the chest measurement. Sorry. I'm going to take the chest measurement. So all you just have to do is just to make sure he open up his arm and take it back. Then you're going to make sure it fits very well. Make sure it fits very well. So right here, I have the chest measurement of 36. Can you see that? 36. So I'm going to write it down. I'm going to come down to the stomach aspect, which will be around here. Actually, he has, a, he has a flat stomach, <laughs> but that's good anyway. So you're going to take your tape around it and make sure you take your show or um, your stomach measurement. Right here, we have the stomach is at 30, 29.5. So I'm going to make, I'm going to like write that also down. The stomach is 30, 29.5. Sorry, 
29.5. So now we're going to come down to the hip aspect. We're going to take his hip measurement. So now we have his hip. I believe you guys know the difference between hip and stomach. So if you don't know, now you know. This is the chest part, this is the stomach part, and this is the hip part. So taking the hip measurement, we have an hip of 37 inch. Can you see that? Hip is 37, so I'm going to like take the measurement also. 37. Now I'm going to take the half, half back measurement. So for you guys to know what half back measurement is, uh, from in between here to the center of the back, that's what we call half back measurement. So you are going to place your tape root in between the center bone of his back, the center, that's the spinal cord. You are going to place your tape right there, down to the measurement, down to the shoulder aspect. Can you see that? Down to the shoulder aspect, down to the shoulder aspect. So here we have nine inches for the half back measurements. So I'm going to write it down. Half back is nine inch. So the front length, I'm going to take the length. So now after the half back measurements, which we took, I'm going to show you guys how to take the, length, the front length. So from here, right from this, the center joining of the of the uh, of the chest chest lands, I'm going to take the length of the blazer, which will be around twenty eight inch for the front length. That will be twenty eight. So I'm going to write that down also. So now I'm going to take the arm bicep, which will be the round of the arm, right here. Just make it straight. Right here. The arm by the make sure it fits very well. 11.5 inch. That would be the arm by said. 11.5. So now we are going to take the back length. Remember, we took the front length before. So now the back and the front length is actually different. So we will be taking the back length also separately. So now I'm going to place my all right, I'm going to place my tape through right there. Take the length down. So right here, I have 29.5 for the back length measurements. 29.5. Now I'm going to take the sleeve length right here. So from the from the shoulder, from the shoulder joining, I'm just going to take the sleeve length right down there. So here I have a sleeve length of 23.5. So I'm also going to write that down. 23.5. And now the cough, the round cough. The round curve is mostly around 5 inches, or if you want it to be a corporate and a very fitted sleeve, you can make it 9.5. That's the minimum for an outdoors like him. So that would be 9.5 for the curve. Five. So that is the full top measurement for a complete suit. So here we have this. So here we have this, we have the shoulder measurement which is 17.5, the chest which is 36, we have the stomach which is 29.5, sorry for my writing there, and the hip which is 37, we have the half back length which is 9, we have the length which is 28, we have the arm which is 11.5, we have the back length which is 29.5, and we have the sleeve length which is 23.5, and we have the cuff which is 9. Point five. So I will show you guys the cutting process. So I want you guys to take a screenshot of this measurement lineup so that you can like follow it when you're taking your client's measurements. So that is it on how to take a, a suit measurement and I will see you guys on another video.
Peace and enjoy yourself. Hello everyone.